Hello all of the trash, the practitioner here. Um, I watched your video, in addition to getting my video response, to answer a couple of your questions. No, I don't generally trim my beard. I generally shave my beard once every three weeks. It's a, uh, um, it basically means that I have um, greater time free to devote to my studies and to other things like that. Um, I have a bit of a difficulty multitasking, so my hyperfocus is a little bit different. Um, to, that's your first point. To deal with your last point about the... Um, uh, you said it was on the news that the cum of a dog, uh, that so that uh, drinking the cum of a dog is a cure for Asperger's. Okay, answer me this then. You said you also have Asperger's syndrome. If the cum of a dog is um, a cure for Asperger's, why haven't you drunk it yet? And uh, therefore said uh, in your video, I don't have Asperger's anymore. Okay, now on to your other points about um, where it says that... Uh, I will never know that uh, the Wikipedia that you are the senior editor of Wikipedia, and the Wikipedia article on logic says um, the uh, symbol, uh, sim uh, symbolistic logic versus holistic logic uh, that there that is illogical to wear your shirt uh, more than uh, it is illogical to not change your shirt, and it uh, it also says that I will never know the touch of a woman. Well, I happen to have the Wikipedia article here uh, on logic open. Um, all it does is it talks about informal logic, symbolic logic, mathematical logic. Talks about how logic should be constructed, did uh, deductive versus inductive reasoning, how um, uh, informal logic deals with the fallacies, which is what I've been talking about. Formal logic is generally on construction of the sentences and, and phrases, trying to deal, uh, trying to tell good arguments from bad arguments. Um, differences in modal logic. Um, there's also uh, philo philosophical logic. Um, they talk as well about uh, Boolean logic for you know um, applying logic to artificial intelligence and law. Controversies in logic, um, is logic strictly empirical, tolerating the impossible? It doesn't say anything in there. Excuse me about the steez. <coughs> ah, as I was saying, it doesn't say anything about whether or not uh, changing my shirt is illogical. So, um, actually, I don't even think that's even really a relevant issue to uh, logic or not. However, you are right that it is unhygienic, which is why I change my undershirt every day. My overshirt I generally wear for two to three days because I don't generally get enough food particles on it for it to uh, be dirty until about the third day. Um, so yeah, this is my third day of wearing it. I'll be tossing it in the uh, laundry tonight. Anyway, um, so that yeah, that pretty much deals with it. Um, uh, thanks though for uh, putting points up on my video. Um, I was also not saying that I could eat. Uh, I was also not. Uh, oh wait, actually no. Sorry, that's uh, that's a response to someone else's comment on my own video. I'll take care of that later. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for saying that you like the points on logic. Um, as you, if you're the senior editor of Wikipedia, I think you might want to double check your article because uh, uh, you might want to double check the logic article because it doesn't say anything in here about that I will never know the touch of a woman or that uh, wearing uh, your shirt more than one day in a row is illogical. Um, so yeah, you might want to double check that. Um, also, that whole come of a dog bit, um, I doubt it. And if you could reference me, uh, if you could provide uh, references to uh, scientific literature which actually has proven this, or what have you, um, then great. Um, and also, if it were true, uh, I'm surprised that you haven't taken the cure yet yourself in order to cure yourself of your Asperger's. Um, anyway, also, uh, the last point. Um, excuse me. Ah, there we go. Now, you said that you would consider me less than human and my personality is abhorrent and you would never uh, recognize my existence. Fair enough, that's your opinion. Um, as for me being less than human, um, well, my personality is generally Asperger's based. It's generally influenced by my Asperger's and largely because I haven't had a chance to cure it. So, by that logic, um, unless your personality is somehow independent of your disorder, then I would say that you're probably uh, also less than human too. By that logic. So again, liar's paradox here. Um, either you have to admit that either I'm less than, uh, either you have to admit that your idea is uh, probably not the case, or that I, uh, or that you are less than human too. And since I doubt that the latter is correct, anyway, that's just my point. Um, as for being not human possible but again as I've said before I'm still skeptical so um, thanks for your video response um, I hope this covers it and yeah see you around and uh, don't forget to double check those Wikipedia articles <laughs>